Hello America. This is a video for Sexy Phil and his pondering of whether or not clone children would be so bad. Phil, I sort of have a look on life that I see society like this. Just like, just like the world, I see society exactly like this. Many colors, many shapes, many people doing many things throughout their lives. This is called individuality. This is the product of all of your life experiences. This is the product of, of your health and your the best of your welfare, uh, your ability to survive. In my opinion, the only reason there are so many people is the advent of medicine, which is a good and bad thing in my opinion. So when we look across society, we're going to pick one, we'll say this one. This is a parent, the individual parent. And he decides, or she decides, they want to use their chromosome material in order to have a child. So they use their own DNA without a secondary parent, and they create their product. Their product being the first clone child. Even shape, round, nothing like mom with her whatever ails her. She happens to be uh, in love with this baby and decides that she wants to have another. So she uses her DNA and she uses the same genetic code markers and she builds another one, just like it. She didn't need a spouse in order to make this happen. All she needed was the want to have another child. So she's taken her own chromosomal material and made a perfect child, in her opinion, or as perfect as her chromosomes will allow. This breaks away from diversity. So another parent comes along and they're jealous. They want to see what happens. They're funding a future of garbage. Because now this parent wants to have perfect children, so they design a perfect child. Two parents aren't necessary for this process to occur. Just one parent and one fetus. So another child's created, only she decides this one, you know, we're going to make this one more artistic. More, more of a dreamer. But the G design genetics company knows better. This is what they'll design for you, regardless of what you pick. Because in the society that they plan to build for us, they need each person to hold their own class. So as parents pass away, they're no longer needed anyway, because now you have good genetic material from a class of people who are exactly the same. Their influences may change, but their train of thought will not, because they've been designed exactly the same. Whether or not they have the ability to design genetic material of their own or procreate is yet to be discussed. It's just not known. Now, down through time as they procreate and they get together and they realize that they have a need for a certain type of human because now there are so many smart people there's nobody around to do any of the farm labor they decide they're going to without fetus just simply chromosome material design a group of farmers laymen people who can build their buildings and they can keep them in small material. They don't have to feed them very well. They can design them to not have to eat as much, to work twice as hard, work themselves to death, pain-free. Remove all of their ability to think free, or have need for education, or to live free. The genetic material that you design suddenly becomes accepted because you've used genetic material for the purpose of humanity and you've basically created a clone. More clone, more clone, more clone. So now you realize you have other needs. We need to have someone who's not as smart as the intellectuals, but smarter than the blue collar chaps. Because you gotta have some white collar stuff going on in there. So you start designing this new brand from quote-unquote, perfect material. 
Well, of course, the only thing that's left is who's in charge. Well, believe it or not, it's still this group of people over here that are calling the shots. So now you have to create a guard, soldier, police class in order to keep yourself away from all this ruffian type which is exactly what's going on now without genetic material. If you think they're not trying to design a perfect human race, you're sadly mistaken. But the problem I see with this class of people, from the soldier class, to the genetic material class, to the farming class, to just the executive class, everything from this side over, It's just a piece of manufacturing. Like making a thousand bobby pins. Or millions of flag pins. Or dozens of pieces of glassware. Or this microphone. Or that camera. These are just products. Now the one thing that I thought was funny that I noticed amongst all of your viewers and their responses was they all seem to think they get to live among them. They all think they're going to be able to walk down the street and look over and see a genetically modified human being. And I laugh, because as soon as they're done modifying the genetics of these clones to get them exactly where they want to be tweaked out, they can start creating a society that does away with this, and this becomes society. Well, when this becomes society, these manufactured people, if they have the, ab the ability to procreate, if they have the ability to think for themselves, well, none of these people are really going to be free thinkers. They're going to have just enough intelligence according to your chromosomal design to do whatever you task them to do. Well, the problem is, is just like in Jurassic Park, nature finds a way. And before long, this class will be gone and that class will have created more of these. Because nature finds a way. Nature finds a way. When you say you don't see a problem with it, I sure do. Because I see a societies with this, a pile of that. A pile of the same boring, non-diverse, rarely, barely educated enough to get away with what they need to get away with. I see this class of people, the same class of people, just barely smart enough to be able to hold a gun, shoot, and fire. Chromosomally, you can take away their ability to have pain receptors, their ability to think for themselves, to simply follow orders. I'm not insinuating a clone war, but if you were going to make an army, mothers don't miss pieces. Like I said, what you're creating is just another hairpin. Just another shirt pin. You're creating a thing. You're not creating a human. Humans are people. We all think on different levels. It's our diversity that makes us unique. It is our ability to grow. Because when this has reached the height of its educational ability, that's all it will ever know. It will never learn. It will never grow.